gonna put it do we should we introduce ourselves again i don't think so we introduced ourselves with before like we said hey our gloria name. okay so this is gloria i know myself i can say say your own name talk no, for yourself people don't need to know me. <laughs> this one is your the host is very okay so okay okay let me introduce this introduce yourself okay hi okay guys. pause introduce yourself first <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another beautiful episode. I'm telling you, this episode is good. All right, so um, today I've got one of my Burundian best friends, okay? His, main, his name is Jean-Paul Amede. Jean-Paul Amede is like, he's, guys, let me tell you one thing. He's amazing, all right? First of all, he works for SBS in Australia. I haven't known him for that long, but I've known him for about, I think, almost two years now. Yeah, almost two years now. Um, the guy is very good. He's very smart. He's um, he's a family man. He's 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 a husband and a father. He's a great. And because of all those qualities in him, now you can imagine the answers that he's gonna be contributing to this show. You're gonna love it, right? <laughs> and the other person is no, Gloria. Henry. Well, anyway, she hates me to call her Henry. So if I say Henry right now, we'll fight. I'm lucky she's not here. But Gloria is an amazing person. Guys, I have met so many different people with different different hearts, different souls, different brain and everything. But Gloria is nice. Like, you know when you know somebody who has gone through like so much issues in their life and then you still see them so happy and cheerful and all? Like, think about it. Imagine you go through so much shit for so many years. And then eventually you conquer everything and you pray about everything and then you you still focus on your goals you know and you achieve everything that you actually wanted to achieve that's that's to me that's amazing so when i look at gloria like sometimes we just sit down we laugh we talk and then and 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 in my mind i'm like wow like i'm so proud of her you know she's she's a, a single mother she owns like um a, a few businesses in sydney a property in Australia and she's still young as well you know she has and she has faced so many issues which is why I was like you know what come on the show you know share some of your experience share some of your knowledge and and it will help someone out there who's watching the show so you are definitely definitely going to love Gloria on this show. So I am John Gay I'm the light of Africa I'm your online best friend I'm John Gay, I'm the light of Africa. Okay, we're gonna start with this one because I know she's gonna have so much things to say. Um, you wanna read? Um, ask the question. Is the reason too small? Just ask. I didn't ask you to have eye issues. I told you to go home. <laughs> you know this one doesn't sleep early. Sometimes I call her like I finish work at eleven p.m. I call her at the Gloria. Why you still up? Go sleep. She doesn't wanna sleep. Guys, eleven p.m. Guys, what you been doing at eleven p.m.? Okay, I pray midnight prayers. So do you do midnight prayers? Midnight prayers. Yeah, devotion. I pray in the middle of the night, 12 o'clock. But you were not sleeping the whole time anyway. But I read my Bible. I'm meditating in the world. So are you saying from 8 p.m., which is what you're supposed to sleep at 8 because you're Why? still a kid. From 8 p.m. until 12 p.m., you're reading a Bible. You. I'll be praying. Yeah. You're on the phone to Elijah. No, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you are lying. Hey, hey, I am not praying. I'm reading my Bible. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay.
Bastard. Okay, so. No, but I like. Mm. Can exes be friends? For me? Yeah. Exit, when you're an ex, is for exit. <laughs> now, take the door. Thanks for the, like, thanks for the experience. <laughs> it's time for experience <laughs> and exit. That's what you belong for. Yeah, but. Ex. Listen. That's why it's ex. E, ex, out. No. Yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> No more. No, but listen, yeah, personally speaking, yeah. I don't want to be friends with none of my exes. I don't yeah. want none of your niggas. Why no are you? Hey, that's what I said. Experience. Exit. 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 Experience and exit. exit. You gotta go. Like, that's what you're for. It's for experience and exit. I have learned my lesson. Now you need to live there. <laughs> I have learned my life. No, you but okay. exit. I don't want. Okay, okay. I don't want my husband even to have his answers. It's finished. It's done. It's dusted. You guys broke up for a but reason. There are some Go. There are it's, listen, there's some relationships. That I don't want. This, we're not talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk about our opinions, yeah? Okay. So, for me personally, I feel like when I'm dating someone, right? I, I usually become like really close and best friends with Since that when person. Since when you start dating people? Ah, I do date though. So I do, I do become friends with them, and then we become like best friends. We get to sit down and talk about like so many things, like the past, our history, and everything. So when the relationship doesn't work out, sometimes we actually probably don't talk for like the first month or two. And then later on, we find ourselves like talking because we know so much about each other already. We are so connected to the point like that best friendship or that friendship cannot just be gone just because we're no longer together. Mm. Unless, so why are they your ex? Unless yeah, why why, why are they, they your ex? ex? Why are they my ex? Yeah, because it didn't work out. Exactly. Then why for certain you, reasons. Why yeah. do you have to bring? Yo, you you are with me. Yes. You don't have to like be whatever connection you guys have is gone. You are now with somebody else. You build that connection. Yeah, but just because we you are broke exes, up for a reason. Yeah, we okay. We broke up. Okay, what if your partner is not comfortable with it? Okay, the relationship is not working, okay, but what, the friendship can work. What if your partner work. is not comfortable with it? Then, what are you gonna do? Then we'll find a way to solve it. How? Solve what? They gotta go, mate. You gotta go. <laughs> okay, what do you think? Ex- what do you my, think? My, my point. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go. Jesus. <laughs> so you don't First have any all, male friends? I have, but do you have ma- exes that you're friends with? No. I only dated um, two people in my life, or. I think you have no experience. The other okay, one, down, the, the other one doesn't, doesn't count. count as an ex because what's his name? What's his months. name? Hey, I don't want that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell us the ones that count at least. <laughs> my my so, baby daddy, my his and the other one, and the other one. And the, what's the other one that counts? You say you have two, yeah? The, two, the other one was only three months or four ah, months. So that only one counts. Two, that, that, so you only have one, one ex. My baby daddy and another one. The one that doesn't. And another third one that doesn't count. The one that is like three months or something does it count? What about the second one? That was the second one, the one for three months or whatever. Oh, so you've only had two exes your whole yeah, life. Yeah. So really, like, only one counts because the other one, you don't really count him. Yeah, because... So how girl like you only one ex? Yeah. This one will talk so much shit, though, but, but she do doesn't do shit. Nothing, you Ah, boring. Let's go to it. <laughs> <laughs> um, exes, I think once you part ways... Yeah, exes. You should always have in your mind... Why is she or why is my ex? Yes. What? Yeah. You guys Zone, actually feel wait, like wait, that? Wait, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not saying it should be like a head kind of relationship. Yeah, but just don't talk. She's my ex. Yeah, that's what he ex is for. If yeah, there is a child. It's, it's not that I don't like okay. to see her. It's not that I, this person, Mm-mm. I will ban her. No. It's yes, just so. this person, she's my ex. I respect you. Respect me and please, we can see. Hi, bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye. 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 The moment this one is up and, then, and down, the other one is up like bye. bye. Yeah, but like the me, only ex, me and my ex okay. kick the only, like friends. No, 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 no. That bullshit ain't gonna go. Do it. That brings, brings. And some of them will just that like. That brings a lot of problems. Now, 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 now because you you are not married. Mm-hmm. That's why. That's why, because you know, married, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know. Yeah. You wouldn't know. Now you can have excess. They can be your friends. They can be whatever you want. You can go back to them and whatever. But once you have that one person you are committed to, tell me when she sees your excess message. 
What if, if you plan to let your wife have your phone? Mm. And let me know if she would be comfortable receiving a message in your phone from, from your, your, your ex. ex. Okay, what if? Hey, okay, I will be like, I will okay, whip I your ex. But listen, listen, Gloria. What if she is my ex, but we have actually, like, we have stopped dating a long time ago? And I don't then, care. Wait, oh, I don't care. Wait, oh, I, I didn't finish. Mm-hmm. We have actually stopped dating a long time ago, and then we decided to become friends, and then we've been there for each other no. as friends, no. and there's nothing more. I to don't it. care. I, I, even I, if, I, I, I understand. understand. I, we understand. Even if she but sends me no. messages, it's like general messages. I like don't no care. More things, they like must go. Business or whatsoever. It's okay. It's okay. She, now you know, married. That's okay. You can. She can tell you. So you think when I'm married, I have to okay. drop them all? Okay. No, okay. No. Okay. Let, okay. Let, let me give you an example, but, right? You're okay to have your exes as friends. What if when you get married, your wife is start having friendship with her ex? For what reason? Uh, yeah, yeah, for what reason? Yeah, it's yeah, not a one reason. It's not a one way street. Yeah, but for what reason? Yeah, but that's me. It's my feelings. It's more important. So, <laughs> what, 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 what about her? The <laughs> robot. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, but, no, no, no. no. They gotta go X for exit. Now, the thanks age, for the experience. Seriously. The door this, is this there. Age, experience and age. This age. This modern age, they want to make us believe that you can be friends with your exes. Yes, you already were intimate with them before. Mm-hmm. You, you slept with really, them, you see the nakedness. If, if this person who is your ex was <laughs> meant to be, if yes. this person was meant to be, she would have exactly. stayed there and you would have married her. Exactly. But you get since it? She's Explain your it again. Ex. Yeah. Explain yeah. again. Go Say back one more time. Say one more time. So he can get it. If this person mm. who is your ex yeah. was meant to be your partner yeah. for life, yeah. You would have married her. Now, you, because she's your ex, there are trillion reasons, not even a hundred reasons, trillion reasons why she's your ex. Mm-hmm. Here, it's kind of sounding right, though. Here, yeah. here, 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 here is the thing, John. You know, there are, there are, there are people who come in, into, our, into our lives. To teach us lessons? To teach us lessons, to make us maybe... Better people? Yes, to better ourselves and mm. to make us maybe quit some behaviors. And these people were not meant to stay in our Relax. lives. Mm. It just, life is like a hotel. Mm. Once you check in a hotel, there is everything in a hotel. Yeah. The moment you check out? The moment you check out, you leave everything there. Those things are not yours. Mm. Those are your exes. <laughs> yeah. You, you, leave, you, you leave everything there. <laughs> I've never seen it that way though. Yeah. I've actually just been, you know me, like I'm friendly you, you, to you everyone. Can, you, you can be friends, you can be, now you can. Yeah, yeah, no, you can. Even, even, what even, if, okay, what if, even this, if he's what not if married. This, if I get into like a, a relationship, yeah, and That's I feel serious. like this, this relationship is serious and I want to make it work, right? You have to cut off your Mind you, like I've been into so many, I've been into some relationships where it, like it doesn't go well because I still have my exes in my life. Yeah. Right? So are you saying that if I get into another relationship and it's serious, I should completely cut them off? Yes. All of them? Yes, exit. Exit. Is Experience. It, yeah. Exit that door. Close that hotel room. Let them go. That's what they're there for. First of all, she. this other person who is coming into your life, yeah. you don't know about... There is so much you don't know about. About them. Mm. There is so much you don't know about. And you want her to be the best that she can. Because mm. you want... To bring the best out, let's say out. if it's her, yeah, you want to bring the best out, out of each other, and you know, mm. you want to be there for her. And the one thing in a relationship is just the emotion support to be there to make her feel loved, to make her feel valued, to make her feel whatever that she now. Tell me if you'll be comfortable doing that when she knows you are still seeing your ex. But I'm not seeing her. No, it doesn't matter. But for wise. me, as a female, I wouldn't be comfortable with that. Yeah. Because I'm... sometimes exes they can complicate things. You can say, "Oh, I see you as my ex. I don't like you. Whatever, whatever. We're done, yeah." Mm-hmm. But then maybe your ex starts saying, "Oh, the way you're treating your female, you know, maybe different than the way you start treating like you were treating her." Then she start getting jealous, and jealousy start getting envy. You know, they start having problems, and then maybe this lady meant to be the one for you, the new girl. But because there is so much things are happening, mm. you won't be able to focus on them. She, you guys are, so that means I fucked up my own relationships then. Yeah. Ah! You're not supposed to say yes. Yes! You're supposed to say maybe, you yes. know, maybe. make me feel better. No! 
Yes. 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 I'm not here for the exes. It's like, I don't hate any ex, but you gotta go. I mean, there, there is so much this social media, they will try to balance, you know, balance. You can balance your friends, you can balance your exes, you can balance. But some relationship, once you want to, you know, it's like when you get richer. Mm -hmm. Trust me, your neighborhood is the first thing you move Wow, out. exactly. Yeah. This is know, once I get a million dollars, Oh, you my. think you will see me around Black Town for <laughs> get <laughs> You move out. Black Town is not my area. Do you, know, do you know why you move out? Why? Because you you start now looking, you know, like you you start leveling up with exactly. people. You have the same mentality. You mm -hmm. some the people. It doesn't mean all the, the the people in the hood you have to. Like, no, no, no. Them, no. no. But you know some of them you used to sell together, it's like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't need to come back. Say so you like, later. See ya. This, this, is, is, this is what happened. Sometimes it's even hard because some of these people, you used to have really good fun with them. Mm. But you have to move on. Because I feel like I agree with you. Like, honestly, when I, when I actually got this question, personally, I thought it's okay. Like, it's okay if there's boundaries between the two. But... According to your guys' like explanation, I'm actually I've learned something today. Good. You know what? I, I don't like these people. Honestly, I don't like these people, because personally, I've always had like you know friends, and and exes. So when I date a girl, like to me, it's like their family to me when I'm with them. I share so much things with them. I share my family issues with them. So for me, I've always thought like even after breakup, with don't have to be enemies. We don't have to be, you know, hating each other or whatsoever. We can still be friends. And that's why I've always done it. That's why I've always had, like, friends around and stuff. But telling me that I can't, it is what it is. Shit. Good, good on you. Yeah. Make sure if you want to save your relationship, man, just, just leave cut them. Like, because, you cut know, them you know because cut then, them, cut because then somehow. If I cut them loose, my whole Instagram friends are <laughs> <they'll be dead. laughs> So you can meet oh, you don't have you know everybody else. Now, now I'm joking, I'm joking. Either your Instagram I'm page. Or, <laughs> or you gotta or your wife. Or, or you, okay, you gotta be ex. left with a cut. Why are you <laughs> You gotta have a cut in your bed instead of having your wife. <laughs> Choose one. Choose wisely. Yeah, I don't yeah, I guess I, yeah, I don't no. I don't know. No, but you guys just made a lot of sense, man. Like I'll I'll literally like I think my next relationship will be the best. But I'll take my time, not now. Yeah. No, no. Not now. Right now, I still have to kiss my ex. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit longer. <laughs> like, for entertainment, okay? For you don't mean my ex to talk shit. Like, sometimes they'll call me, I don't know, when we just talk shit, shit, nah, nah, laugh, nah, nah, they nah, go, nah, nah. I go they, my own they way. They gotta go. My exes, they're not allowed to call me when you see me. Hi, bye. Honey, like, you only have one ex. <laughs> <laughs> so relax for three months. Like, even he see me like, hi, bye. Like, this is, this is, it's No, not but like, you know some people, okay, this is the thing. Some people you date them, and they literally like they be there for you like deep. When you're down, they're there for you. Your like, other when, they, that, there is a reason they didn't marry them. Okay, there is a reason you broke up with them. Yeah, but there is a reason. Okay, when you meet that person, but don't you feel like if you just no shut them out, don't no. you feel like as a person? I'm mm -hmm. not saying as a as a as a girlfriend or whatsoever. But don't you feel like if they've been down for you for the whole time, and then the relationship wise it didn't work out. Shouldn't the friendship wake up because they're not, they like, they have like a good soul and everything? The I, friendship? I don't care how good your soul is. You, you, they gotta go because when you're with another person, you. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you just no, gotta go. They gotta they go. Gotta, but I feel like they, they should be like. They okay, gotta go. Honestly, they guys. Go. I feel like they should be like, um, like a way to balance both. There's people you can keep in your life, there's people you can't. Okay, keep John, let's For say. example, for example, if you know that your ex still wants you so bad. I would say if you're single, great. But if you're not single, like if you're in a relationship and you know she wants you back, you can't really John, be friends with someone. There is like some that. people can pretend that there is some people can act like I don't want you back. You know what I mean? They wait until you get in a relationship. Maybe whatever reason you guys broke up about, they're still holding grudge, but they're pretending. Some people they can hold it down for like long time until the day you get in that relationship and you find that person that you love and you want to spend the rest of the, your life with them. And, and they'll be like, you know what? I was there. I did this for you. I did that for you. And now you leave me for this. They'll come and destroy it for you. Uh -uh. So they gotta go. What would they do that While for? there is a time for their ass to go. That is, some people are just have mental health. They gotta go. I don't believe it. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Do you agree? No, no. That, yes, 
agree. These guys, <laughs> it's not even teaming up with me. No, 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 I'm on no, my own, guys. No, 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 Best no, friends, no. I'm on my own. No, 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 no. Access the gotta go. You know what? Let's ask the cameraman, man. Okay, okay. Come, 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 Mr. Jackie Warren is gonna say about this, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah what is his opinion? What do you think about access? I hope he supports me. Well, it's actually been an issue that I've had a little bit like because yeah, like, yeah. I feel I do feel a little bit like bad for the ex who kind of like feels like they've really lost someone as a friend in their mm. life. Yeah. So like I kind of try to be there as a friend. But it's always kind of damaged future relationships a yep. little bit, and they've kind of not been able to understand it. Yeah. Kind of like you guys with exactly. So, it, what have you learned from the, the, the process? Well, I don't know. I was starting you to. I was go. probably starting to agree with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my own today, man. <laughs> oh, man. No, but it, it goes against my nature a little bit, yeah. like to agree with you guys, because previously I was, I think, trying to do both things at the same time like yeah. be the friend and, be the and then be the, be the, be, the, be the good, boyfriend. good boyfriend with yeah. the new woman you know yeah. <coughs> but because you know i feel like when you have ex and especially have a lot of history with them and if you kept them in your life the other person is going to be under pressure because you're always going to look oh that ex used to do this for me why are you not doing that you start comparing it start comparing the two without you no, know I, I i really do understand where what he's he coming from yeah you want to be the cool guy yeah you want to be a gentleman then, you want they to, got to go. Maybe, keep this yeah. this this relationship but i want also to maintain this because it's I a want, friendship like something yeah, means know, something you know this but that's lady, why you guys broke off with for a reason this, that reason this, this, yeah but sometimes lady, just because lady, you, I, I i was with her she was really nice man I just want to keep her as a friend. We didn't quarrel much. We didn't seriously. I want to keep her as a friend. Mm. And you are my current girlfriend. I love you. seriously. Oh my goodness, I'm here or not? That's okay. R just picture this. Let's say you have a chain here, mm. dragging you, and you want to walk with someone. Yeah, it's hard. It's uncomfortable mm. with this thing you are pulling. It's hard. Unless you lose it, you this thing, you know, like you take mm -hmm. it off, yeah, you yeah, can yeah. walk properly. I'm not saying there are like tens of problems with this, ex, but whenever they come in your relationship, trust you, me, that either you know like it or not, it will ruin your relationship, it will ruin your life somewhere down the line, yeah. Shit. Because just think about it, yeah. You want to keep your Man, ex, I'm learning to do <laughs> Let's say something yeah. you decide to keep your ex, and your partner is like. They decide, okay, me and my ex too. Okay, since you have friendship with your ex, I can too. Yeah. How are you gonna handle that? Does she wanna keep her exes? Yeah, her ex For as a friend. Reasons? Exactly. Yeah, but that's different. No, no but it's not different. <laughs> my feelings are more important. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> that feeling is important as well because as a woman, we all females have insecurity. Mm. So you know, maybe your ex is a bit prettier than you know than me, or maybe you know the way you talk about her, how great she is, and this and that. That. As a new girlfriend, I'll be intimidated. I'm like, does he love me? Even no matter how much you try, yes, your voice is still playing in my head. Mm. Those stuff that you said about your ex is always in the back of my mind. Yes, and that's when paranoia starts. Where are you? What are you doing? And like, start calling, start it's texting, checking your phone. We want to see who you talk to. Check your messages. Check everything, because you already opened that door. Mm. Because you already told them how great your ex was. So if you tell me how great your ex was, what am I doing here? I don't talk about my exes when my when I'm dating somebody new. I don't. Talk it about doesn't my matter. But the fact that you kept them, the conversation is gonna come up. There is no female gonna be like. Uh, do you do you open up? Do you open up about your exes to your girlfriend? To your yeah, I'll girlfriend. tell her like this is my girlfriend, this is my ex, this is my ex, and I'll tell her like, but I won't go into details. Oh shit! But done it this doesn't matter. matter. Don't go in, I will why, never do that. Why, why don't you go into details? Because if I don't you, want that shit to be in her mind. But it will still be. I want her to see her as a friend to me. Okay, no, okay. no, no. We are going there. If you don't want her to, if you don't want her to have this in her mind, why are you protecting her? That? Because, because I want to protect her feelings. Because okay, he's yeah, the not thing. By, by, thing. No, by no. protecting her feeling, one year, two year down the line, you will find her breaking even her the most. Yep. Jeez. By yeah. protecting her feeling, because by the time she finds out, she'll be like, you know oh, oh, like, oh, this time, bro. Just so you guys know. 
somebody out there is gonna watch this video and call me after that because because there's 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 a person there's two people that I dated mm -hmm. three people and both of, three of them they had an issue with me having my ex and me I literally believed that it's a good it's okay to have your ex in your mm -hmm. life and mm -hmm. still have a, a new relationship mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. So we, mm -hmm. we, we argued about that. We argued and argued. And me, you know me how I argue. Like, I, if I believe I'm right, you know, I will argue. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but now, guys, look, I, I, I just owe them an apology. Like, guys. Are you um, not apologizing? You I'm apologizing to them. them. You should no. call them and tell them I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, look, I was wrong. I really didn't know, right? I really didn't know. And... We probably broke up because I was actually dumb. dumb and stupid. Like I didn't know. I swear. Until this show is actually helping me yeah. for my next can relationship you, too. Can I ask you a question? Though? Yeah. When you were still friends with your ex, yeah. was it because you felt bad about them losing you as a friend, or because you wanted them as a friend, or was it you both wanted each other as friends? Because we both wanted each other as friends, and they've been there for me. I've been there for them. Man. Where were you exes? Huh? Why? Because we broke up. <laughs> we yeah, just, we, but we, you guys we, broke we, up for a reason. What, what the reasons, have they like dismissed? Did they like go away or did... I wouldn't say that on the camera. <laughs> 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 guys, I don't want to be in trouble. I don't want to put myself in trouble. I beg. But yes. whatever you guys, whatever the reason you guys broke up about is a good reason. So, thanks for the experience. And he has yeah. no proof that he's your ex, he's a no child with you, nothing. So. Nah, nah. <laughs> Thanks for the experience. Exit the door. When we see, hi, bye. bye. <laughs> All right. on, that, on that note, <laughs> <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> This video, um, this this episode I actually learned something personally <laughs> that I'm gonna apply in my next relationship. So you learn if you, you might learn ex, hi and let's do it together. Hi, hi and, and bye. bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so <laughs> could be the new friend. Yeah, hi, hi and, and bye. bye. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, you can't be you can't be friends with your ex. That's just it. Like they just they just proved the points. Like three people. They just proved that point. I was actually the person supporting it, but they just went against it. So I feel like you learn. I feel like it, they're right. And uh, you learn. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Hi. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Hi. Yes, it's within maybe. one second. What? Hi. Hi. Bye. Bye. No, no, there no. is no conversation <laughs> in between. What if I'm bored? <laughs> there is no conversation in between. No, if I'm in a relationship, great. But if I'm not. Hey, if, hey. Even even while right, right now I'm single, but my ex, hi, bye. bye. <laughs> All right, guys. So you got it. So <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you. Like honestly, thank you for teaching me something that I actually probably broke like three or four of my relationship. Uh -huh. Cause I'm like too nice to everyone. I'll be friends with my exes and stuff, and that will bring a lot of issues. Like I've been into so many issues because of that. Mm -hmm. So, but from here on now, you learn. I will learn. Hi, hi and bye. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> see you in the next episode, guys. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, God bless you. I hope everything works out for you. All right? Remember to pray before you sleep. I am John Kay. I'm the light of Africa. Yeah. Hey best friends. Cheers. Hey everyone, it's my first glass, I swear. <laughs> That's what she this is probably like your feet, yeah. Huh? Your feet. No, it's my third. <laughs> but it's my first. Right, when she had the first one, she was already drunk. Just one drunk. <laughs> Guys, her name is Kiki. She's one of my best, best friends. Like, Kiki is, um, I'd say, 
she's full of energy look she will dance she will party anytime like anywhere you take her and just play music she will start dancing that's why i love kiki like she's ooh, she's amazing and and don't get me wrong like um um me and kiki we met um we met a long time ago but we started like actually being closer i think in 2019 no two, yeah 2019 that's when we started being close now one thing i love about kiki she loves food okay so <laughs> if you never want kiki to come to your house you know all you gotta do because i remember before like if i call her i'm like kiki um what are you doing she'd be like oh i'm doing a lot of things around here and there or i'm sleeping and stuff and i'm like kiki you wanna come over and help me with something she'll probably be like oh um mm. and then i'll be like yo there's food <laughs> and then she'll come straight up like that's that's she'll come like bro you mentioned food she'll be there and Kiki has also been through like a lot of issues with her life, with her love life. She, she, she has faced a lot. And right now, I'll, I'll tell you right now, I'm so proud of her because she has met somebody who actually proved to her that all guys are not the same. And I believe like every woman deserves that. You know? So, Kiki! I don't do those things anymore. I quit. I swear. Actually, have So ever since that encounter, you have not. That's you a lie. Not, hey. You have not chopped anything. That's a lie. That's you haven't chopped. Guys, guys. One thing I regret about this show is putting these two together. They literally been talking shit at the whole time. I don't want to <laughs> Is that a word? Yeah, trust. <laughs> 